Dearborn. Michigan CNN Iman Hamoud was one of thousands of Michigan Muslims who helped President Joe Biden defeat Donald Trump in 2020. A month ago, the Palestinian-American immigration lawyer had no doubt that he would support his campaign again in 2024, but past few weeks, Biden administration, after Palestinian militant group declared war on Hamas after deadly attack on October 7, he watched Israel offer unshakable support for Israel without any red lines and without calling a ceasefire despite thousands of Palestinians. Civilians were killed in Gaza. Now he doesn't know what to do. It put us in a very difficult situation, said Hamoud to CNN. Voting for someone who adopted the attitude he has adopted in the past few weeks become morally almost impossible. Arab Muslim Americans make up a small percentage of population, but they have huge influence in battlefield states such as Michigan, where the rejection of voters like Hamoud, who felt that he was hurt and betrayed by Biden administration, could cost both Biden's state his re-election. According to the analysis of Mgage, an organization aimed at building the political power of Muslim Americans, then 200,000 Muslim American voters in Michigan, Biden won Michigan, the state that went to Donald Trump by little in 2016, with 155,000 votes. This proves that the Biden administration needs the game of Muslims to win, said Nada al Hanuti. General Manager of Mgage Action, Michigan. Risks are particularly high in the Detroit suburb Dearborn, where more than half of the population is of Middle East or North Africa origin. In almost a dozen interviews, Democrats who voted, campaigned and donated Biden's political campaign say they cannot even imagine voting for him now. Even if he supports immediate ceasefire in Gaza, the primary demand of society. Elections are often a bilateral election. Muslim Arab American voters admit CNN that primary area of the GOP is campaigning on policies such as refusal to aid Gaza Trump's re-implementation of travel ban some Muslim-majority countries they said they did believed it would be equal. Even worse for Palestinian land and people in the Middle East however. Some said they were afraid, noting that Islamophobia had increased and that six-year-old Palestinian-American Wadia al-Fayoum was stabbed to death, which was investigated as a hate crime. The president and this administration have taken a clear stance there is no room for Islamophobia, xenophobia or any of the disgusting racism we have seen in recent weeks. Biden's campaign spokesman Amar Musa said in a statement, while MAGA Republicans continue to compete on an Islamophobic platform, including renewed support for Donald Trump's Muslim ban, the results of next year's elections cannot be more important than this. Still, many Muslim and Arab Americans who support Biden say they can't even imagine doing this again or asking their friends and families to support him. I have no questions my min.